we are discussing the NFC West today, and we're going to kick this off with the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals... Win total sits at 8.5. Their over-under is minus 115 for both. Division odds, they're number four to win the division, plus 500. Not expected to. Obviously, this is a pretty rough division. This this may be the strongest division in all of the NFL. To win the NFC, they are plus 1,400. To make the playoffs, they are plus 165, minus 200 to not make the playoffs. Projected favorites in nine games, and their strength of schedule is the 24th easiest, which is, what, the 8th most difficult? So, is what it is there. Uh, they went over in 2020, but uh, but before that, push, under, push, under for the four years prior to that. Kyler Murray ranked number 12 in EPA per dropback, but he was only number 26 in yards per attempt. So, big question about this. Was Kyler Murray actually kind of dinged up at the end of last season? If so, you know, he's likely to improve this year on what his numbers were last year. The combination of J.J. Watt and Chandler Jones on the defensive line could be awesome, maybe. The free agent acquisitions sound great, but uh, it could backfire if they end up looking really old this season because they they got some old-school veterans up in there. NFC West on paper, toughest division. Defense projected to be the uh, sixth toughest. They're uh, they're facing the sixth toughest defensive schedule this season. That's not going to be easy, and... They were 8th in fumble recovery luck last season and 6th in net touchdown percentage in the red zone. That You're going to see a regression this year. You're not going to have as many close wins as you did if that regresses. I Everybody loves the Cardinals because of the J.J. Watt thing and Kyler Murray and Cliff and da-da-da-da-da. Man, I'm, I'm going under this 8.5. I don't think that they can... I don't think they could keep up what they did last season. They went 8-8 eight eight last year. I just don't see them getting to nine, even in a seventeen-game schedule this year with this with this schedule. Yeah, no chance. This team, yeah, they're they're going to go backwards. They they were trending backwards last year anyway. They got off to a hot start, whatever, and and they're just not going to be able to sustain that. And it's simply, Cliff Kingsbury could not win at the college level. He was a five hundred head coach or worse every year at the college level. Who on earth thinks? I, I can move from the college game to the pro game, and it just be the exact same. No, you got me. That is just that is just simply not how this works. Yeah, it you're doesn't it doesn't make any great, sense. You're not a great coach. You cannot win, and I don't care how great the players are around you. And trust me, JJ Watt is not going to produce this year like he did last year. I I can assure you of that. Okay, I I know they're hoping to get the last little life of out of AJ Green. But AJ Green's not coming back anymore. Like that's not the same guy that that was in Cincinnati who was making unbelievable catches. You're talking about injury after injury after injury, man. It's just not going to happen. I got this team at best six and eleven. That's I. I had them maybe at seven wins, but I think six and eleven is much more likely. I just I don't see it. I don't see what people are talking about with this. It, I don't think the defense is is as good even with the guys that they brought in. Uh, Andrew says, is Cliff on the hot seat? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think he is. Uh, yeah. You have because to be. Because they've invested too much in the offensive side of this ball game team to for them to not continue to win. Well, and if you bring in J.J. Watt and you don't make the playoffs, I, yeah, because they, they spent a ton of money on him. Matt Miller said, Chris, do you think Cliff is pretty? Uh, I absolutely. I don't know of anybody that and, wouldn't think that. And, and and I'll tell you, he's like the kind of pretty that if you're not a gay man, but you kind of wanted to try it out, like that's the kind of guy I think would be easy on you. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, Birdie said, uh, why, Chris, if Jones doesn't get traded, who are you doubling? Watt graded out very high on PFF. Yeah, we, we've talked about this in the offseason. Watt hits really nicely every other every season. Every year. Every, go go look at his splits. Go look at his splits for the last, I don't know, eight years. Just pick a random number and look at his splits and look at the percentages of defensive snaps he takes in one year and then the next year. Last year, he took like 90-something percent of the snaps. The, the season year before, before yeah. it was like 14%, okay? And then the year after, before that, it was like 80-something. And then the year before that, it was like 17%. I'm going to tell you, He's older, and he just played more than he's ever played in his life, and he played it to try to get another contract. It was a contract year, and he got that contract. He's just not going to produce this year. You can yeah. tell me all you want about the guys around him. I don't care. 
I don't care about anybody else around him. I I mean, don't get me wrong. I I do like Chandler Jones a lot, but you know, like <laughs> this it, defense it, has a lot lot bigger problems than a couple of guys trying to pra- uh, pa- rush the passer. No, you're right about that. You are 100 percent right about that. I I'm curious to see what they'll end up looking like. Uh, but we have both got them going under, right? Oh, Wait, yeah, I, I definitely got them going under. For eight so, yeah. and a half. They're not getting a nine. You think, I might be off on this team. I'm not three games off. You think uh, You think minus 200 to not make the playoffs is a is a decent bet there? Is that number I mean, too high? What's the under bet? The under bet is, is, oh, the under bet is minus 115. I guess that's the better bet. Why wouldn't you just bet the under at minus 115 and you got three games, you know? Because I think at the most, I could see this this team maybe winning nine games if something went completely screwy. But that's but, but even I, at nine if, wins, like you're, you're not, not going to pull the trigger. You're not going to pull the trigger. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. No, you're you're right. You're right. All right. Moving. On. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.